These were all made by Yeon Rees, an artist who works in slate, which is a metamorphic rock. He'll help me to investigate its properties. Why is slate so good to work? Look, I'm not going to tell you. I'd rather set you a little challenge, if you don't mind, to have your initials as small as you can. Would you take on that challenge? Sounds good. Now then, Howie, here are two rocks, a slate, which is a metamorphic rock, and this is sandstone, a sedimentary rock. Now, when you work in these two materials, I'm sure you'll find why slate is so special. It's not just a question of scratching. Each stroke has to be chiselled both ways to give it depth. Hmm. Seven millimetres. Not bad. Sandstone's not so easy. Bits keep breaking off, making me work bigger. This time, the smallest I can manage is 19 millimetres. Compare that to the 7 millimetres with slate. So why is that? I guess because the particles are much smaller and more tightly packed together. And of course, in the sandstone, the particles are much bigger. Big particles have more air between them, making the sandstone weaker. That's why bigger bits break off. Slate's particles have been squashed smaller and tighter through the metamorphic process, which means finer carving. I could tell by feeling the dust that came from the rocks. This is the sandstone. And it's really gritty and Much quite more coarse. Gritty, that's right. And the slate. Oh wow, that's why well, it's like handling flour, isn't it? Yeah, it's like velvet, isn't it? Yeah, totally different.